Okay, um, here I am about to get the intake manifold put on the engine. So I'm gonna just give a quick update and um, let you know what I've done to prep this thing. So, um, previous video, I'm sure it's noticeable. You can skip back that there's a thick bead of RTV on here. Um, got both of those razor bladed off, got this completely washed off um, and scrubbed with a brush uh, in all the ports. And um, I used, what I use is a, a purple power. Purple Power Simple Green seem to work really well because um, they break up that oil. Um, I'm sure Dawn would work well too, but it's it suds up a lot, whereas the Purple Power doesn't, which is why I like it. Um, kind of helps me see what I'm doing. So I just used used that in a brush, got it in all these cracks and crevices, um, verified that there's no more aluminum chips left, um, sprayed it all in the ports, washed them all out thoroughly, um, got all the chips out there, and then to dry it off, um, what I'd use is uh, brake clean. So I just spray it down with brake clean real fast because it displaces the water and then um, it dries quickly. So that's a little trick I use. Um, next what I do, so first I took off the beads with the razor blade and then the next step is to take a steel bristle brush. Um, just, I buy these things like three or four packs at a time, the cheapy ones at Harbor Freight, and then just go by and you don't wanna, you don't wanna tear the aluminum up but what you want to do is you want to have a surface that's capable of, of um, sticking, you know, the RTV sticking to it. So the RTV doesn't really like to stick to cured RTV, um, which is why a really thorough cleaning is going to kind of help you out. Um, this right here, this is actually corrosion. So I've cleaned that out the best that I, that I can, Woo! That, uh, that I'm willing to, to go without like damaging the aluminum. But this is going to be a good surface right there. I'm going to, going to uh, RTV seal it on the water ports to, to make sure it doesn't leak. Um, all the ladies are always asking me, you know, how to get my gaskets to seal so well. So um, that's, that's a trick that I use on every intake manifold gasket that I do. I do a razor thin uh, bead of RTV around the water jackets on both sides. So I'll do it on the manifold itself and then I'll come and I'll do it on the cylinder head itself. So again, this looks a little bit different. I finished up the prep work, got this all um, brushed off with a stainless steel brush. It, it doesn't look like it because the metal's always gonna stain. There's always gonna be, you're never gonna have a perfectly clean engine um, unless it's freshly machined. But you know, this kind of right here is stained from the corrosion and things like that. Not a whole lot you can do to overcome that. Um, another step is to chase all the threads because we don't want crap getting stuck in the threads as we're you know, trying to get the motor back together, it's just gonna end up wasting your gasket. Uh, we'll get this guy out of the way so that it's not interfering with the fit. Um, so how do I get the gaskets to seal? First of all, you take this bag right here with these um, Felpro provided gaskets. Uh, you remove this right here, this is for the distributor, and then you throw those away because those are garbage. I've never gotten one to seal right. They're super annoying and lame, and I just get rid of them. Your leak points aren't usually gonna be here. Your leak points are gonna end up being right here. So don't be afraid to put a little bit of extra dollop in there, but also make sure you do a really good job of cleaning it out. Um, really, really good job. This right here needs to be the best point part that you clean because it's so easy for a little bit of oil to come eking out of there. And while it's it's not too crazy um, or difficult to kind of fix that with, with that fleet repair stuff, um, on the front of the engine, on the back of the engine is a huge pain in the butt. Um, I had a Suburban about 10 years ago that I, I was uh, not thinking, put it all together, and I had a, a bit of a leak in the back, and that thing leaked forever, and it was annoying and it sucked. Um, but what was, was easier was just to add a quart of oil every every uh, fill up instead of um, tearing it all apart and fixing it because I hated that thing. So um, back to the back to the ceiling part. I got my little assistant here, Crash. What's up, dude? He's trying to steal my my shop towels. So um, so back to this part. So I have this um, black RTV, which is exclusively what I use. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by putting a thin bead around it and then instead of using my finger I'm actually going to use a razor blade and just take a razor blade and you just kind of fan it back and forth Up and down left to right until it's it's a very thin film um, These 
bolts right here go all the way through. However, these front and the rear ones do not. So be very careful not to overdo it because you don't want RTV in there. Um, we've already chased the threads out, but you just don't, you don't like to have RTV jamming those things up. So the intent of the RTV is not to create a gasket. The intent is to supplement the gasket that you're using and to seal both sides of that. So just keep that in mind. And I mean, this, that layer needs to be so thin that you can almost see through it. Um, and it's barely, barely there. Um, second on the gaskets, I use this stuff right here. Um, I use the copper for intakes and head gaskets. And then I also use the red um, for valve cover gaskets because it's, it's tackier. And um, this stuff right here I find is it seals well and it also comes apart very easily. So um, they're both brake, brake cleaner soluble. And um, I've used these things for years, totally a big fan. So the gaskets themselves, I rigged up this little thing with bailing wire. Uh, I'm sure that I've done this on my other videos, but I just have a little loop right here, have the gaskets. What I'm gonna end up doing, giving them a couple of coats, um, make sure that they're gold, you know, evenly distributed. And then you want it to be just tacky to the touch. You don't want it to be running down, um, but you don't want them dry either. So um, once, once these are, the, basically the order that it's going to be in and it has to go fast, which is why I'm not going to show it on video is I'm going to do the RTV first, spray these down because these dry very, very quickly, get those over there, slap it together and get it bolted and torqued down. Um, so it's going to happen fast. And I just wanted to kind of give a rundown of what I'm going to do because the next video is going to show um, this magically assembled engine and that'll explain how I got there.